right, number seven. A rocket moving in a straight line has velocity v kilometers per second and displacement s kilometers at time t seconds. The velocity v is given by v of t equals 6e to the 2t plus t. And when t equals 0, s equals 10. So this is a fancy way of telling us this. Okay. Find an expression for the displacement of the rocket in terms of t. All right, so the displacement is just going to be the integral of the velocity. The velocity function is given above. So we're just going to integrate 6e to the 2t plus t dt. That should give us our displacement, or s of t. Okay, so if we want to integrate this guy, right, we know that the 6 is going to be out front. Um, when we take the, uh, like, let's say, here, let me do this this way so you can see, like, exactly what's happening, every little part. All right, let's split this up. So we've got 6 out here, e to the 2t dt plus the integral of t dt. Okay, so here's what I wanted to show you, right? I'm going to show you exactly how to get the constant here. Let's do a little u substitution. We're going to let u equal 2t. Therefore, du will equal 2dt. You have to divide both sides by 2 in order to get that dt all by itself. So now dt is spoken for and the 2t is spoken for. So let's go ahead and rewrite our integral with a u substitution. There's a divided by 2 out front from this guy here. And then um, the antiderivative here, or the integral here, is just going to be e to the u du. And then we still have not integrated this guy yet. So now we integrate, and we would just get 3 e to the u plus t squared over 2 plus c. Let's go back and put that 2t in for the u, and we would get 3e to the 2t plus t squared over 2. Of course, if you knew that there was a constant of 2 up in the um, exponent for the e term, and you knew to bring that divided by 2 out front under the 6, and you didn't do a u substitution, that's totally fine. There's a million different ways to do this. I just want to do it the long way so I can show you exactly how to do it if you're a little lost. Um, okay. So now we have s of t is equal to 3e to the 2t plus t squared over 2 plus c. Okay, so we have to find an expression for the displacement. So that means we can't have that pesky c out there. we got to figure out what that c is going to be. Um, that's where this piece of information comes in. So we're going to substitute that in here. When time is equal to zero, the whole thing should be equal to 10. The position or the uh, displacement should be equal to 10. So now we've got, okay, then this is going to give us 10 is equal to 3 times 1 plus 0 plus C. And now we have 7 is equal to C. So our final expression for um, the displacement of the rocket in terms of T will be 3e to the 2t plus t squared over 2 plus 7.